Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is gonna be a what sold video. Um, there is some clothing, there's a lot of bread and butter, but there's also some decent items in here. So this video is a little different because these are items that I have given to my consignment girl. And what she does is she lists my items on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So um, most of the items sold on eBay, there's, I'd say, seven, eight, maybe, that sold on each of the other platforms. But I'm going to do all of eBay first. Um, but these items are cross-posted. They just happen to sell faster on the platform they sold on. Now, she has been doing consignment for me for a long, long time. And basically, what I do is I drop the items off. And she has full reign to do whatever she wants. She picks the price. She, I mean, start to finish. It's, whoop, cha-ching. It's her baby. You know, I just drop it off and do what you want. Um, she does work during tax season. So um, not a lot of listing going on during that time. And the items I'm going to show you sold in January, February, and up until March 15th. So there are quite a few items here and we're going to get started after a few now announcements. Um, I am going to tell you what it sold for, what I paid for it and where I got it. If I can remember in mine, I use the custom SKU. So when I make my notes, I write down that information. But when I give it to her, I'm just like, here you go. I'm done with it. And I thought, you know, I talk about, I have a consignment gal, but I never really share the things that sold. I'm like, why am I not doing that? And um, I recently just got another consignment girl and I'm super excited about that. So um, hopefully I'll have some of her items to share in the future also. And um, yeah, and if anybody is interested after watching this video and doing consignment for me, if you live in Franklin County, Licking County or Muskingum County, even Fairfield County of Ohio, and are interested in doing consignment, please reach out to me on my Bolo Buddies Facebook group because I have inventory coming out of my ears. Um, I have new with, new with tags clothing sitting in a closet because I don't want to mess with clothing anymore. Um, and my favorite thing to do is shop. So I could probably use two or three more people um, doing consignment. So if you are interested, um, what I do is I give you the items and then pretty much I say, have at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's you price it, all of that. Um, I suppose if there was something that was, I wasn't, I needed to get a certain price, I would just tell you, but typically it's just do what you want. Um, I do a 50, 50 split. So, uh, that's after fees. So the fees are taken out and then it's a 50, 50 split. Um, she sends me a spreadsheet and she sends me my money. So, um, yeah, that's how it works. It's really, really easy. Uh, um, another announcement, sorry. And then we are going to get into the what sold. Uh, we dropped the auction 99 challenge videos yesterday. There are 30 YouTuber resellers participating in this challenge. And yesterday we dropped our video of 10 items. And then you guys had to vote for the five that you want us to send to eBay auction 99 cents free shipping. So if you put the hashtag symbol vote auction 99 into the YouTube search bar, that's going to pull up all of the participants. You have until Friday night at midnight to vote. And then we are going to list all of our items on Sunday. So be sure to come back to the video to get the links for our items. Um, super exciting. That's 150 items that are going to be 99 cents free shipping on eBay. So if you guys see something you like, you might want to bid because you might get it for a steal of a deal. I'm hoping not <laughs> because I'm super nervous. I've got some really, really good stuff um, that, I, that I showed. So if you go into my channel, it's well, I'm, I'm showing this video on Thursday. So I dropped it yesterday. So it's the video before this. So definitely go check out my 10 items and please vote for the five that you want me to send to auction. 
And then all the other participants, if you can't get the hashtag to work, are down in the description of the video. I just sold something else. That's two sales since I came on. Yay. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Quit looking at your phone. Quit looking at the cha-chings. All right. Let's do this. Um, let me get my screen share up here. Okay. Let's look at the first item. Um, I'm trying to figure out... I had the numbers pulled up. I'm going to tell you my total for that two and a half months. I'm going to add it up. Let's see. Oops. Let me add it up. Sorry. I had this done and then I had to look at something else on my phone and I deleted it. So I think I'll tell you the number at the end. <laughs> okay. I'm just adding it up and it'll be ready to go. Okay. So the first item and it is this Madison and Max cream cardigan sweater. And to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure my mom gave me this. Uh, my mom will bring me bags of clothes from time to time. And I hate clothes now. And the, woo, the girl that consigns for me really likes clothing. So um, I usually just take it to her. Uh, so... Sold for $10.93. And I guess I'll just tell you what my cut was after the fees were taken out. And um, she took her half. So I'll tell you what I got. So my cut was $4.65. And the cost of goods was zero because my mom gave it to me. So uh, the next item is this Tristy dress. Okay, so I picked this up at a discount store. I want to say that it was less than a dollar. Um, it was 90% off of the discount store price. So I got these for a great deal. I bought a ton of them. It sold for a best offer of $12. So my cut was $5.10. And here's another one. And she has one left. And this one, she took a best offer of $11 for, and this is the brand. And my cut was $4.68. So am I getting rich off of consignment? No. But what is great about this is she doesn't like to source and she has another job. So it's easy for her. I just bring her the inventory and she lists it. And then um, it's good for me because I have too much inventory. So, all right, let's look at the next item. And it's not all clothing, you guys. All right, so this little Hallmark Chever Chevrolet Silverado uh, 2005 new in the box uh, ornament. You guys know I love selling ornaments. Um, let's see, this one sold for a best offer of $16. So my cut was $6.80. And I probably, I think I picked this one up at a garage sale. So it was probably like 50 cents or something like that. So, you know, I made like six bucks profit. So that's great. The next item is, um, I took her probably 150 pair of these express pants. Um, and when she gets caught up, I'm going to be taking her more new with tags clothing items. So, um, I just, I don't want to list them and she again likes clothing. So, um, let's see, what did these sell? She took a best offer of $15 on these. And actually that says number 179. So maybe I gave her more like 200 pair, um, best offer of 15. So my cut was $6 and 38 cents on this. And I paid anywhere from two to $3 for the express pants. So, um, I probably doubled my money, got my money back and then you know, made three bucks. So I take that. The next item is this cute little bunnies by the bay frog. Okay. So this is a little security blanket, you know, the little plush. And these are a bolo items. You guys definitely want to be on the lookout for these because if somebody loses, if their child had this and they lose it, that mom is going to search high and low to find that item. And this sold for full asking price of $19.49 buyer paid shipping. So um, I can't remember where I got this. It may have come out of a mystery box actually. Um, 
So my cut was $8.28 on that. The next item is this Liberty Falls Musical Bell Tower. Um, I think this came out of a mystery box also because it's not something I would typically source. Uh, so it sold for $17.99, best offer. So my cut was $7.65. And the mystery boxes, if you guys watch my Bolo Buddies channel, um, I have mystery boxes on there, but I'm now putting all of my mystery box videos on my new channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. So you can go over there and check it out. But um, by the time I divide out all the items, I don't have much in each item. So maybe a buck, maybe two. All right, so this dollhouse furniture I picked up at a garage sale. I bought a whole box full. Um, I think like that one's missing a drawer. Uh, I think there was something else that was missing something. So she ended up doing an auction and unfortunately it only went for $2.99. Um, that happens sometimes. So my cut was $1.27. <laughs> which is completely fine because I bought um, a box full and I made my money back on some of the other items. So not a big deal. The next item are these 265 pieces, Better Blocks Lego. They are vintage toy blocks. How cool are these? Um, let's see. These sold for a best offer of $25. So my cut was $10.63. I can't remember if that was a mystery box or a garage sale, um, but I'm guessing I probably had a couple bucks in it. The next item came out of a mystery box. These are holiday cheer miniature birch trees. They're like for, um, like if you create a little village and those sold for $8.02, the asking price, and my cut was $3.41. This Harry Potter book. Um, it's funny because this came out of one of my Christmas mystery boxes and I just actually, um, released that video on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies and somebody's like, I would have been mad if I got a Christmas mystery box and it had a bunch of books in it, but the book sold. So, um, I was kind of happy about that, but it sold for $6 and 15 cents. So my cut was $2 and 61 cents. The next item is this Coca-Cola polar bear. It's a Christmas ornament and it sold for a best offer of $5 and I got $2 and 13 cents and that came out of a mystery box. Chippendales, these 1984 playing cards uh, sold for $8 and two cents. So my cut was $3 and 41 cents. And this also came out of a mystery box. All right. Uh, another pair of express pants. She sold one. There are 10 available. So um, these sold for a best offer of 15. So I got $6.38. And again, I probably had two or $3 in this pair of pants. The next item I pick up kids clothes all the time in bulk at garage sales. And a lot of times I will get them so cheap. Sometimes I list them. I'm getting away from clothes. So lately I've just been giving them to her. And um, she puts them in lots. Again, I'm getting, I'm sourcing cheap. So um, it's still good profit margins. This is a lot of 16 boys clothing. Uh, they are a four and four T and these sold for $30. So my cut was $12 and 75 cents. The next item, these were in a mystery box as well. Uh, Dave Co winter socks. And these sold for $3.57, best offer, and my cut was $1.52. So these numbers, when I say I earned $1.52, that seems very, very small. But when I tell you the number at the end of the video that I got in that two and a half months, it's it's nice extra income. And it's I don't have time to list all this stuff. You know what I mean? And um, she is like the fastest lister ever. I remember one time, I've only had her do it one time. I gave her like 600 brawls and I just gave her cash to list them for me. And then I went and picked them up. She had it done in like two days. It was ridiculous, like 600 brawls. I'm not kidding. It was amazing, amazing. So she's a machine when she gets going. I will tell you that. 
All right, the next item, again, more of those clothes, uh, four and four T. Uh, this is a lot of 15 items sold for $15.70. So my cut was $6.67. And a great way to get kids clothes is at the end of garage sales. You just walk up and you say, what do you want for all of the kids clothes? A lot of them get thrown away because they're stained. A lot of them get redonated, but you can pull out enough to, to make some money. The next item is this starched white crocheted Christmas angel. And this, I believe, came out of a mystery box as well. Uh, she sold it for a best offer of $2 and I got 85 cents. So um, a lot of times, like, I'm like, if you want to lot the items up, like, Put a bunch of Christmas ornaments together, you can. And for some reason, she listed this by itself, which is fine with me. It's completely up to her how she wants to list things. So, um, I mean, that's a major bread and butter right there, <laughs> but super easy to list. The next item are these Tappan Mansfield, Ohio key ring, money clip, and playing cards. And I they're just advertising basically. And she decided to auction those. They did go for $2 and 49 cents. So I got a dollar six. The next item are these really cool round playing cards. They are Jaja Co. Um, and again, I gave her a bunch of playing cards. She could have lauded them or she can sell them separately. Completely her call on that. Um, this one sold for $8.50. It had eight bids and the buyer paid shipping on that. And my cut was $3.61. The next item is this vintage Imperial Collection treetop West Germany glass indent. Um, it's a treetop, tree topper. Uh, this one sold for $20 best offer. And my cut was $8.50. And that also came out of a mystery box. And those sell well. I have given her two or three to sell, and I think she's sold out of them. I'm not a big fan of uh, selling breakables, and she doesn't mind. <laughs> so I give her a lot of breakables. Not a lot, but anytime I find stuff that's cool like this that I'm like, oh, that makes me nervous, she knows how to package them. So I just uh, give her those. So she sold two or three of these glass tree toppers for me. The next item is this Craig Kirkland carved Santa ornament. And this came out of a mystery box. She sold it for $5 and my cut was $2.13. And that's what it says on the bottom. It's weird because it has a Made in China sticker, but it looks like it's carved. Huh. The next item are these cool bright amber Christmas bulbs, four packs. These came out of a mystery box and um, I sold them for, or she, I'm sorry, I, she sold them for $10 best offer and I got $4.25. The next item are these express joggers and she sold one, has four pair left. So for this one, you know, and the other express, super easy. You know, it's one listing and it's multi-quantity. And again, I gave her like 200 pair. Um... $15 she sold these for on best offer and my cut was $6.38. The next item are these new without tags, Hager Raw Hem jeans. And um, she just decided to auction them because they had the raw edge hem. And unfortunately, they only went for $2.99. Um, no big deal. It, she, I, she put that they're missing material. So somebody may have cut them off. I was under the impression that they, a lot of times when they're super long, they will leave the edge raw like that. And then the person hems them, but it says, yeah, yeah, these are supposed to be because see 44 by 42, a 42 inch inseam is super, super long. So that's how they're made. Um, she may not have known that. So um, I learned that just from selling those types of items. Cause at first I thought the same thing, but um, they are supposed to be that way. So those sold for $2.99. My cut was $1.27. So I did lose money on those, but that's okay. No big deal. The next item are these Captain America flip-flops. I don't know where these came from. Garage sale. I don't know. I'm guessing I bundled them. It's not something I would pay for. So they must have been thrown in or something like that. Um, I sold, or she sold them for 99 cents. They only got one bid. So my cut was 42 cents. 
The next item is, and a lot of times after she has things for so long, she just wants them gone and she will do auction style, low, low prices like this. I don't remember where this came from either. Um, I'm guessing a garage sale when I was buying in bulk, uh, sold for $2 and 99 cents on that one. And my cut was $1.27. So I probably paid 25 cents for it. So I still made money, you know? The next item are these Longenberger Pottery um, Holly Christmas Berry Mugs. And these came out of a mystery box. They sold for $29.18. Buyer paid the shipping. My cut was $12.40. Uh, Longenberger is great to pick up. I knew that these were going to do well when I gave them to her. Um, they sold pretty quickly. And um, yeah, people collect the Longenberger items. So definitely be on the lookout for those. The next item is, again, I gave her a ton of these Lane Bryant tops, like in every color you can think of. And um, this one, she sold for $12.50 best offer, and I got $5.31, and I have a dollar or less in this. The next item are these vintage 24 glass hand-painted Polish ornaments, round and teardrop. Yes, I knew these were a bolo. Again, it's just something that I do not enjoy shipping. It makes me nervous and she doesn't mind. So um, she sold these for $40 best offer and I got 17. I think these came in a mystery box also. The next item is this blue floral ceramic candy trinket box with lid. I do not remember where I got this. <laughs> um, I don't know, sorry. Can't remember, um, but it sold for $12.38 and my cut was $5.26. I'm guessing it was a bundle buy. Um, and, that, and that's a lot of times uh, when I'm giving it to my consignment girl, I know that I, I don't want to have to think about controlling what she's listing things for. So I try to source things in bulk so that um, I can make my money back and then make a little money with the things I list. And then, you know, everything else is just profit. The next item, I know where I got this. I picked this up at the bins, got it at the bins. So um, it was probably like 50 cents, pro less than a dollar because it's $1.59 a pound and it doesn't weigh a pound. Um, and I had full intentions of listing this and I just never got around to it. And I was filling up my car to take stuff to her. And I just started throwing stuff that I had in my to list pile into bags and just take it. Just, I'm not going to get to it. So this sold for $11 and 13 cents and my cut was $4 and 73 cents. The next item are these amazing, awesome, so cool paper mache birds. Uh, aren't they cool? They are so cool. I think these came out of a mystery box, if I remember correctly. They sold for $16, best offer, and my cut was $6.80. The next item is this silverware. She's like, what do you want me to do with this silverware? And I'm like, I don't care. She's like, can I just auction it for $1.99? I'm like, yeah, go for it. I don't care. So what happened with this is I picked up a bunch of silverware because there was one piece of silverware that I wanted in the bag. Um, and then this stuff was just in there. And some of this stuff will sell individually if you want to take the time to list it. But I was like, I don't care, lot it up, just sell it. Um, and she will ask me from time to time, but um, I try to give her as much freedom as possible. Uh, sold for $1.99 and I got 85 cents. So I made my money back on the pieces that were in there that I think there was um, like just a, a fancy piece that I had wanted um, that was in here. If I remember correctly, I could have it mixed up with something else. The next item is this express men's shirt. And I have like a huge bag full of express men's shirts, just like this different colors that I need to take somebody. If they don't get to her, then I need somebody to do it. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure she's going to get the express shirts. So as soon as she gets caught up, so this sold for $17 and four cents. And I think I probably had about $3 in this item. So my cut was $7 and 24 cents. 
Here's another Lane Bryant shirt, different size. It sold for $12. My cut was $5.10. Again, had about a buck in it. These Express jeans, again, I've got probably two totes full of Express jeans that need listed. Um, sold these for $27.43. I probably had around $3 in these, and my cut was $11.66. The next item are these express pants and she sold these for $12 best offer and my cut was $5.10. These Dockers Stain Defender Pants, I believe these came from uh, Gabriel Brothers if I remember correctly and I want to say I probably paid a couple bucks for them and she sold these for $11 best offer so I got $4.68. So I got my money back and made about $2.50. So, I mean, I, I'll take it. <laughs> it's not doing any good sitting in a closet. The next item is this Whisper Me hoodie, and she has 10 more left. She sold one. Um, she took a best offer of $6.48 on that, and it sold for, or, and my cut was $2.75. Honestly, um, do you guys remember when Fashion Bug went out of business, like, what, seven years ago? I bought, like, pretty much the Fashion Bug store out, and um, I did really, really well, but there were a lot of items that I got really, really cheap, and I don't remember what I ended up paying for this, but I bought a ton, and I already sold some, and I gave her some, so um, there's... I don't know how many are left, but it's just like a sequin thing. And they had pants that went with them. And I probably made the mistake of separating them because I sold the pants separately and the pants sold a lot quicker, but now, um, the hoodies just are not selling as quick. So I don't know. That was probably, I should have probably left them as a set. The next one is the Tonka toy cement truck from 1987. It's just a little plastic toy. I think that came out of a mystery box. It sold for $5 best offer and my cut was $2.13. The next item are these Jolly Life Death Star Ice Ball Mold Set. Silicone store Star Wars. So I think you make like ice cubes out of them. I'm not really sure how they work, to be honest. I wish I could see the inside of the mold. Yeah, I think they're just like... And I, I don't know. I don't know what they are. Somebody will have to Google that and see. So weird. Um, those were in a mystery box, I think, if I remember correctly. I mean, I didn't buy those, so it had to have been a mystery box. Uh, sold for $8, and my cut was $3.40. The next item, I gave her some jewelry. I think I had picked it up at a garage sale, and... Um, so I have pennies in this because I buy jewelry in bulk. And these sold for $10, best offer of 10, and I got $4.25. The next item is this Express Button Front Shirt. And I think this was mine. I actually wore this and I would wear like a hood, like a vest, not a hoodie, a vest over it. I don't know. Um... What'd I sell it or what'd she sell it for? She sold it for $10.93 and my cut was $4.65. Not bad for something I wore. The next item are these neckties. And again, she auctioned them and they only got one bid. So they sold for $1.99 and I got 85 cents. The next item are these express shorts. And um, what'd they sell for? Best offer of 10 and I got $4.25 and I think I paid three bucks for those. This Cherished Teddies um, mystery box. Sold it for 13 best offer and I got $5.53. The next item is this vintage slapjack board game. It is super, super funny, kind of cool. It's a little witch. Um, I thought this was going to be a bolo, to be honest, when I um, when I saw it. I'm like, that is so funny. Like, I've never heard of it. And 
some of the things are still in the original packaging. So um, I don't know, but it only sold for $15 and 21 cents. Um, so I got $6 and 46 cents. And I can't remember if that came out of a mystery box or where I got that. This came out of a mystery box. It's the vintage, the enchanted workshop, Mary fishing snowman animated and motorized. And this one, uh Oh, Hmm. Oh, I see what happened. Just a second. Sorry, sorry. Sold for $15 and 21 cents and I got $6 and 46 cents. The next item, I always give her these patterns and she always sells them super fast. Um, so this one um, sold for $7, best offer, and I got $2.98. And then she sold another one from her house to somebody uh, for seven. So I got half, $3. I said 300. I got $3.50. And she always does a nice job of displaying them. And I never, I, I just don't want to figure out how to display them. And I just, so anytime I get patterns, I give them to her. Um, let's see. The next item are these Talbots, new with tags, size two, petite. Um, I want to say I paid a buck or two for these at a discount store. She sold them for $23.77. So my cut was $10.10. The next item is this London Times dress. She has sold two of these. Um, she sold it for $11.90, best offer. And she charges shipping for all of her items. Sorry, I haven't been saying that. And I got $5.06 and I think I paid a dollar or less for that dress. The next item are these express gray pants. Uh, sold them for 17 and my cut was $7 and 23 cents on those. And the next item is this Valerie Bertinelli dress. This was mine also that I no longer wore. So I just cleaned out my closet. She's got like probably, oh my gosh, I'm going to say eight to 10 bags full of my clothes <laughs> that she needs to list um, that I had given to her before tax season. So she, I'm waiting for her to list those items, but she sold this for $13 and 99 cents and I got $5 and 95 cents. There's just something about my own clothing. I hate listing my own clothing. Do you guys feel the same way? Like if it's something from my house, like I don't want to list it. If it's something that I source, like it's more fun to list stuff that I buy, probably because I have to go buy it. I don't know. It's so funny. All right. The next item again, clothing lot, garage sale. Uh, these are a size 2T sold for $4. So I got $1.70. The next item was in a mystery box. They are Noma Christmas lights and $7.88 is what those sold for. And I got $3.35 and I gave her a bunch of these and I, you've seen in the video, like it looks like most of them have sold. That's awesome. The next item is this hog wild pro thumb wrestling tournament edition. How funny is that? Um, this came from a garage sale. I did like a bulk buy at a garage sale and I believe this was one of the items from that, if I remember correctly. It sold for $8.49 and I got $3.61. The next item is this Vera Bradley um, eyeglass case. Honestly, I don't recall where I got it, but it sold for $10.32 and I got $4.39 and I probably paid like a quarter or 50 cents for it. The next item is this Anchor Hawking Avocado Chip and Dip Set. Now, I will say I probably paid like $5 for this at a garage sale and had good intentions of listing it and decided it's glass. I don't want to mess with it. So, um, I, um, so I'm, I might have had five, maybe only three, maybe only three, but I did pay a little more for this item and she sold it for $13 and I got $5.53. So I didn't make much on that one. But that's okay. I didn't have to ship it. Like, I love it. I think it's super, super cool. 
I actually think I have the same exact one that I got at a garage sale a couple years ago that I put up in my cabinet thinking that someday I would use it and I've never used it, but I'm pretty sure it's identical to this because I just, I don't know. I thought it was really cool. You know, you do that. But then I saw this one and I bought it also. The next item, uh, another pair of express pants and she took a best offer of 10 on these and I got $4 and 25 cents. The next item are these Hulk yellow hybrid light fishing shorts. Um, these I picked up at Gabriel Brothers. I want to say I paid 50 cents or a dollar for them. Um, so this one was a nice surprise. They sold for $20 and I got $8.50 for those. The next item are these Silly Monkey doll sunglasses. Like they would fit like an 18 inch doll, like American Girl or Batat. And I, I want to say those were in a mystery box and they sold for so best offer of $5. So I got $2 and 13 cents. The next item are these Noah's Ark ornaments. Again, came out of a mystery box. Those sold for $6. So my cut was $2 and 55 cents. The next item is this Tigger Disney letter picture note holder. And it sold for $8. And I got this at a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of Disney Tigger items. The lady was a major collector. And um, I had all of this Tigger stuff like um, sitting in a pile for me to list. And it was one day when I was taking stuff to her and I just grabbed all of it and took it to her. So um, that actually sold for $8 and the my cut was $3.40 and the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item came out of a mystery box. This is JJ the Jet Plane Terrytown Hangers and Fire Station. Sold for $10. My cut was $4.25. Okay, so now we're going to move over to Mercari. Um, a pair of joggers. And it's kind of nice too because some of these pants, you can see what they're selling for on eBay for Poshmark and Mercari. So it'll give you an idea. Um, I think I went backwards. Hold on. So the jogger. Okay, so what she does is she takes out the fees because you know how Mercari, they give you like a breakdown. So she puts that number and divides it out. So I'm just going to tell you that they sold for $23 and my cut was $9.87. And she has the buyer pay shipping. So the next item are these assorted vintage doilies and they sold for $13 and my cut was $5.51. This Dimensions uh, Stamped Cross Stitch Kit. I These last two items I picked up at a garage sale, I'm almost certain. Um, just like a lot of items probably. And it sold for seven. So my cut was $2.90 on that. Uh, these Bundle of Matchbox Puzzles. No clue um, where those came from. I think it was a discount store, but I'm, gosh, I don't know if it was TJ Maxx or Gabe's. So I probably didn't make much money on this one, if I'm being completely honest. And I cannot find it. Where are you? Oh, there was a green American Eagle hooded coat. I can't find it. But it sold on Mercari for $24.96. And my cut was $12.48. But I can't find the picture. And I didn't want to go through her whole entire store. So it was an American Eagle coat. I think I probably picked it up at a garage sale. Okay, so the puzzle teaser stole for $8. My cut was $3.34. This Air Force silver and bar collar pins. Um, again, I picked them up at a garage sale in bulk, so don't have much in those. Sold those for $15. So my cut was $4.64. These Easter Bunny Blow Mold Light Set. And it has a little typo right there. Whoopsie. Um, I knew these were going to be a bolo. Um, they sold quickly. And um, let's see. Sold for $28. So I got $9.55 for those. And those came from a garage sale. I remember picking those up. 
um, with some other blow mold uh, type things. Ooh, I sold something. And uh, I think they were a dollar or less. Here's some more lights. These came out of a mystery box. And these sold for $8. And I got $1.67. And again, they were in a mystery box, so not much in them. This Keepsake Harbor Town Lighthouse ornament, same thing, came out of a mystery box. And my cut was $3.34. It sold for $8. There's also a Harry Potter book, just a different title than the one that sold on eBay that came out of that mystery box. And on Mercari, I'm guessing it sold for eight and I got $3.15. So that was good. Uh, more of these lights, these sold for six and I got $2.47. So we are going over to Poshmark. Um, these Isabel size 16 distressed jeans sold for $19. I'm guessing she sent uh, discounted shipping. My cut was $5.03 after Posh took 20% and she gave discounted shipping. The next item is this Longenberger sled that sold for $19. This came out of a mystery box. After everything, fees and divided out, I got $6.54. The next item is this Cincinnati Bengals uh, jersey and it's kids. Um, this came from a garage sale and I did a bulk buy lot of items and this sold for $12. So my cut on that, uh-oh, trying to find it here. Hmm, I had these in order. That's so, oh, here it is. Um, my cut was $4.53. Okay, so these solar-powered holiday dancing toys, again, came out of a mystery box. My cut was $6. They sold for $15. This Blake and Woods uh, shirt or sweater, it came from a discount store. I want to say I had a buck or two in it and it sold for $20. So my cut was $8. Express jogger, uh, these sold for $28. So on that one, I'm using her spreadsheet. So that's where I'm getting all my numbers. Uh, my cut was $8. And another pair of pants. These sold for 15 So my cut on those was $6. And the last item are these Express Long Johns. And they sold for 13 So my cut was $3.80. Again, Poshmark takes 20%. And if we send offers to watchers or likers, um, uh, they just changed it because it, it was like getting to be a lot, but um, they just fixed it. So we have two options now. So yeah, this video ended up being super, super long. I apologize. Oh my goodness. I probably should have split it into two. Um, 43 minutes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't normally do that. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share watch the video before this. Um, that's my challenge video. So I'm going to show you 10 items and you're going to tell me which five you want me to auction off. Um, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe if you like the content. Um, this is the first time I've done a consignment video. So please let me know what you think. And I almost forgot to tell you guys what my totals were for the, um, for the two and a half months. So with this being said, sales are a little bit slower because she is not actively listing. And we all know that eBay and Mercari and Poshmark are most happy when you are feeding the algorithm. So um, my profits for two and a, and she hasn't been listing. So I don't have anything new up. So $443.30 is what I got for two and a half months of consignment. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, I am I would like to have two or three more people doing this for me. Um, Mary uh, has just joined my team. Uh, she works a full-time job and she is going to be listing things on Mercari for me in her spare time. Uh, so I just took her a 
whole bunch of stuff and uh, she has started listing. So um, yeah, I have two right now. I, like I said, I, ideally I'd like to get two or three more people. So again, if you're in Licking, Muskingum, Franklin or Fairfield County, um, most of those counties are within an hour, within an hour from me. So I could easily um, just drive and drop the stuff off. And I explained in the beginning how I do the split and everything like that. So if you're interested um, in something like that, please reach out to me on Facebook, my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. There's a link down in the description of the video. All right, you guys have a great night. And I am so sorry for the long video. Thanks for watching.